For years now, biochar has been sold as a miracle fix for tired, lifeless soil. Gardeners are told to buy bags of charred wood, soak it, mix it in, and wait for transformation. But, you know, many people try it, and nothing happens. Worse, sometimes their plants struggle even more. Poor growth. Locked up nutrients. Dry, dusty beds. Here's the uncomfortable truth. Modern biochar advice is incomplete at best, and misleading at worst. Long before biochar became a product, Japanese farmers were already using a far superior version made from bamboo. And they didn't just bury it and hope for magic. They activated it, fed it, and designed it to work with soil life, not against it. So, why does modern biochar often fail? Well, biochar itself isn't the problem. The way it's used today is. Most commercial biochar is made from hardwood waste and applied straight into soil with minimal preparation. What gardeners aren't told is that fresh char is biologically hungry. Its porous structure aggressively absorbs nutrients, moisture and microbes. Instead of feeding plants, it temporarily steals from them. That's why so many people report stunted growth after adding biochar. The soil didn't improve. It went into shock. Japanese farmers figured this out centuries ago, long before lab studies confirmed it. Their solution wasn't to abandon char, but to change the material and the method. So, why bamboo changes everything? Bamboo is not just another plant, it's a grass, and it behaves completely differently when turned into charcoal. When bamboo is charred at lower temperatures, it creates an incredibly fine, honeycomb-like structure. Compared to hardwood biochar, bamboo char has smaller, more uniform pores, higher silica content, faster microbial colonization, and better moisture regulation. In short, bamboo char integrates with soil instead of dominating it. Japanese growers didn't use bamboo because it was trendy. They used it because it was abundant, fast-growing, and, well, perfectly matched to living soil systems. Here's where modern advice really falls apart. Japanese bamboo char was never applied dry or raw. It was charged, fermented, and inoculated before ever touching the garden. Farmers mixed bamboo char with rice wash water, fish scraps or fish broth, manure teas, and leaf mould or forest soil. So, this process turned bamboo char into, well, a microbial hotel, not a nutrient thief. By the time it went into the soil, it was already alive. You know, modern biochar marketing often skips this step because it's slow, kind of messy, and honestly impossible to package neatly in a bag. But without activation, char is just empty carbon. Once activated, bamboo char becomes a permanent soil ally. Its micropores shelter beneficial bacteria and fungi from heat, cold, drought and predators. Mycorrhizal fungi weave through it and, you know, bacteria colonize it. Nutrients bind gently to its surface instead of washing away. Over time, bamboo char stabilizes soil moisture, buffers pH swings, prevents nutrient leaching, and improves root access to minerals. This isn't fast-release fertilizer. It's infrastructure. 
Japanese farmers understood that real soil fertility is built, not applied. So, if bamboo biochar works so well, why isn't everyone using it? Well, because it doesn't scale well for industrial sales. Bamboo char, well, it requires local materials, slow processing, and a bit of biological activation. You simply can't mass-produce it cheaply. You can't sell it as a one-step solution. And honestly, you can't promise instant results. Modern soil products, you know, they thrive on convenience and speed. But the Japanese bamboo method, well, it thrives on patience and ecology. Those values just don't fit neatly into profit-driven systems. So, the method faded from mainstream agriculture, not because it failed, but because it couldn't be commodified. So, here's how you can use the bamboo biochar hack today. You really don't need ancient tools or any secret knowledge to revive this method. All you need are some simple tools and materials to make your own bamboo biochar at home. First, start small. Char bamboo or bamboo-based material at a low heat until it's black, but not reduced to ash. Next, crush it gently. Then, soak it for at least one to two weeks in a living liquid, like compost tea, worm tea, rice water ferment, or even diluted manure tea. This step, honestly, makes all the difference. Once your biochar is charged, just mix it shallowly into your garden beds or tuck it beneath mulch layers. Never bury it deep. Let the soil life pull it downward naturally over time. That's really the best way to help your garden thrive. Used this way, bamboo char doesn't shock soil. It evolves with it. You know, the real soil revolution isn't actually new. The most uncomfortable realization is this. Modern soil science is, well, slowly rediscovering what traditional growers already knew. Carbon isn't fertilizer. It's habitat. Bamboo wasn't chosen by accident. Activation wasn't optional. And you see, soil health was never about inputs. It was about relationships. The Japanese bamboo biochar method didn't disappear because it stopped working. It disappeared because we stopped listening. And now, as soils degrade and inputs fail, that old forgotten method, well, suddenly looks like the future again.